as a show here. And so the theme of this week has been uh, bacteria and viruses and whether or not they cause sickness and disease. So I kind of wanted to cover a little bit more on the topic. Um, in this case, uh, bacterial infections and antibiotics. Um, so doctors, um, they have a tendency to blame bacterial infections, uh, like the bacteria as the cause of that um, sickness or that disease that you're experiencing, which isn't the case. What will happen is when your body is in an inflammation, and if you've watched my previous videos, you know that inflammation is a healing process. Um, it's healing, uh, it's getting, it's detoxing toxins in a certain area of your body. So if, if it's in the, um, the bronchial uh, tissue, it's called bronchitis, um, just for example. Um, if it's in your tendon, it's called tendonitis. So what will happen is your body will take bacteria and it will send it to the area that's inflamed. Um, this is so it, the bacteria can break up, it can eat and digest the toxins in that area because the toxins are what's, are what's causing um, the pain and what's causing the sickness. So what will happen is the bacteria will break up the toxins there. But since those toxins are toxic, the bacteria, their byproducts, the end product of their digestion is toxic. And what will happen is that will cause some symptoms as well. And your doctor will notice that there's bacteria in that area causing these problems and the only reason the only problems the bacteria would be causing would be the would be some detoxification symptoms of their byproducts um, and he'll blame the bacteria for the cause of that sickness or that disease or that inflammation when that wasn't the cause at all um, the bacteria's uh, byproducts what will happen at, for those t toxins if you're curious is it'll either get sent through your blood to be expelled by the body or they'll be, um, they will be stored in our cells. Um, so yeah, like I said, the, so what a doctor would do, they'll give you antibiotics to get rid of the bacteria because they think that's the cause. And that's, that's not the case. The cause of the bacteria being there is toxins. They're there to eat the toxins up. So the cause of a bacterial infection isn't bad bacteria, it's it's bad diet or a bad lifestyle. So if you want to, if you want to um, avoid that, you need to eat healthier. You need to live healthier. Um, yeah, and so antibiotics. All right, they give you antibiotics to get rid of the bacteria. And I don't know if you ever noticed this, but like, if you have an infection, something most people here's a common one: a yeast infection or candida. Um, a doctor will give you antibiotics to get rid of that, and then. It's like a week later or two weeks later or maybe a month later, it comes back. And so you go back to the doctor and you get more antibiotics. And the same thing happens. It comes back after you stop taking them. And on top of that, you have to go through the symptoms of being on antibiotics. And if you've ever had taken antibiotics, you know that's not fun. Um, See, so yeah, a little bit more on antibiotics, too. Antibiotics, uh, biotic means bacteria. So antibacteria basically means anti-life because without bacteria, there can't be life. And when you take it, it really causes problems within the body because your bacteria is what breaks up toxins and keeps you healthy and, you know, breaks down food as well. So when you take antibiotics, yeah, you're going to feel like crap because your body's having to work overtime to produce more bacteria and to get rid of the effects of the um, antibiotic itself because that itself is toxic. It's killing bacteria. So it gives you a little idea of how toxic it actually is. So yeah, uh, um, I hope this answers the question, so if do bacterial infections, what should I do if I have a bacterial infection, sh and should I take antibiotics? I would say don't, no. I'd say eat healthier and live healthier, and that way you don't even have to take antibiotics, and you don't have to have or ever worry about having uh, serious bacterial infections and the side effects of that. So because the toxins that the bacteria will be eating won't be as bad, and your body will be able to handle it, so the side effects of the byproducts of the bacteria eating those toxins won't be near as bad as it normally would if you're eating bad and living an unhealthy lifestyle. If you're providing toxic soil um, for your bacteria in your body. So I hope this answers that question guys and that you learned a little bit more about bacteria and viruses and thanks for watching everyone and take care everybody. Peace. Do bacteria and viruses cause disease? The quick answer is yes and no. 
um, for bacteria, bacteria do not cause disease.